you guys if you want to see how to get this a leopard cute final like just fantasy i said final fantasy <laughs> this fantasy leopard like cougar still your man because i'm 54 going on 55 look keep watching i'm sexy i'm a sexy 54 though welcome to another video um yeah after this video is done i'm gonna edit and i'll be fully made up and yeah so let's get started with this tutorial so since my tutorials are so long all the time and i talk all the time i am going to do a voiceover and just show you step by step of how I do things and just do my face and just be quiet because I talk way too much and I don't know what I talk about I just ramble and I don't want to have a rambling video today because I'm gonna go see Kali Uchis and I want to be cunty and I want to be beautiful I want to be a cougar and I want to be a leopard and I want to be a cheetah but I'm not a cheater because I'm faithful this look today is gonna to be inspired by I should add his name because he really did this. The Emmanuel Cast Castelli something? The Emmanuel, I'll link him down below or just put him on the bottom of the screen. Cause he is the shit and he did this four years ago and I'm like, this is so beautiful. I found it on Google because I needed to do a leopard print look inspired by my, my leopard print outfit. And I was just like, okay, what? can I do I didn't have any ideas and I was like okay you know what it's fine just copy off of somebody because I really don't copy off of anybody doing my looks like it's original from me I really I really don't like copying people's looks but it's like sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and you just finesse it finesse it the way you want to but I'm just really gonna stick by the books and just do his look this time because it's so cute and so simple and like smoked out wing liner with leopard print like oh my gosh I hope I do it well though because it's my first time doing it and graphic designer looks are just like boy so pray for me and hopefully this turns out good and i can have a nice little cute montage for you for you jeffree star jeffree star approved and it dropped on the floor so i have to you know cut this video and pick it up which i do not like so guys yeah let's get started and let me stop rambling on like i always do so i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera which is actually on camera i'm just gonna cut it so you won't see it and then put it back on but i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then my face routine i might show you what i do but i do the same thing that i always do but i'm using a brush this time because i always use a beauty blender but this brush morphe 130 foundation brush has really been coming with it and my skin has been looking flawless with this brush like i just stifle it on there and then you know move in circular motions and then it starts doing this thing and i'm just like okay so yeah i'm using the brush now but i use the same products the tarte concealer i use um yeah i'm gonna just show you the eyes but i'm gonna do the eyes first so yeah i'm gonna just show you the eyes and then I'll make up my face and then you'll see the finished product so keep watching okay guys I almost forgot I was just like jamming to Korean bops and stuff so I forgot to like almost press play and do this whole look and I would have been so sad so basically I did my eyebrows off camera um yeah let's see if it zooms in I have to yeah I can't but yeah so basically I do my eyebrows off camera and this is what I was talking about guys like I really got to get my camera fixed because when I go up to the camera it doesn't and zoom in on my face I have to keep on refocusing it and hopefully it's focused right now I think it is so yeah um, I did my eyebrows off camera I primed my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and light medium I'm about to tape my eyes and we'll just walk through what I do over voice over because I am not gonna talk I'm not gonna talk a lot no you're not lab you are not gonna talk a lot gonna do this makeup tutorial you're gonna shut your little mouth 
Okay, here we go. Okay guys, so first I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner I got from the beauty supply store. It doesn't matter what, you know, store, beauty supply store you get the liquid eyeliner from as long as it's a liquid eyeliner. So basically you want to make a wing, like a cat eye wing with your liquid eyeliner and you don't have to worry about if it's straight or not because the tape will be there on the sides of your eyes to make sure your line is straight and crisp and clean. So basically just um, make not too thick of a line but um you'll see what I'm doing and I'm so sorry that the camera is blurry like I told you I have to keep refocusing each time I change positions so just bear with me it's not going to be blurry forever and um yeah so just make a wing line first After you're done wing eyelining your eyes, you are going to use a gold eyeliner to make the leopard print spots. So you want to make the leopard print spots first on your eyelids and then you want to um, outline them with the black eyeliner again to really give it that leopard print look. And I forgot guys, before you do any of that, I'm going to use the Morphe 24G palette. Um, to actually smoke out my eyes first because after you do the wing eyeliner you want to smoke out your eyes before you put the leopard print on duh so yeah I skipped a step but don't worry we're gonna go back to the leopard print that still remains you're still gonna you know put the leopard print on with the gold eyeliner and then outline that with the black liquid eyeliner so that's still in the works after we smoke out our eyeliner Using this brown taupey color, we're going to smoke out our eyes from the liquid eyeliner. So, um, using a smudger brush, I'm so sorry I forgot which Morphe brush I used, but basically use a smudger brush to smudge on that color um, right on top of the black eyeliner. So I'm satisfied with how it looks with the smudged out um, taupey brown color. So just blend it until it's smoked out enough at, to your liking, you know. Um, then you go in with a black color. I'm using a black color in this Wet n Wild palette, I think. Um, so very, very carefully with that black because black is so pigmented and strong and there's no going back if you make a mistake. We all know this. We all we all know this. Whoever does makeup, we know black is nothing to be played with. So lightly go on with black and smoke out that winged eyeliner to make it blend in with your eyeshadow. So basically making a smoked out eye, a smoked out winged liner. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to keep on going until it's nicely blended and this takes a while. So take your time because you do not want to mess up like I said so just be patient and just blend it blend it blend it until it looks cohesive and you know uh, it goes together well so just keep blending until you're satisfied with how it looks and make sure it's smoked out and has each layer blended in well Okay, so now that the black is blended like I want it to, I'm just going back in with that taupey brown color, going back and forth, making sure each color is blended in into each other. So like I said, just take your time and just go back and forth with um, smudger brushes. I'm using a bigger smudger brush for the taupey brown, 
and a smaller smudger brush for that black so I can get a precise smudged outline uh, with the black eyeliner so I won't go too overboard. So just make sure you take your time and just go back and forth with each color to make sure they blend together well. Okay, so we have more blending out to do, so we're going to use that brown next to the darkest brown on the bottom right corner um, to blend in the eyeshadow more. So we're going to go back in with that black and have that brown be right up top of the black to just smoke out the wing liner more to make it look more blended and have more layers. And yeah, we want it to be very blended and buffed out and smoked out, so it's, it's a process. Finally, after minutes of blending or hours, I'm going to show you a close-up because I liked how it looked. Um, this is it close up and smoked out. And as you can see, you still see some of the black eyeliner underneath all the eyeshadow, but it's still blended enough for you to be like, okay, it looks buffed out and blown out. So this, I'm happy with this outcome. And um, if you want it to be blown out more, then you just blow it out more. But um, yeah, this is it. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the Golden Eye Liquid Liner. So we're going to start making our leopard print, which is my favorite part. The leopard print is the main purpose for this look. <laughs> so we are going to just make dots. So you want to start with like big leopard print, um, you know, shapes where the eyeliner is, the tip of the eyeliner wing. <clears throat> Start with the big ones and then you want to uh, progress in smaller size leopard print shapes as you go to the inner corner of your eye. So basically, you know, big shapes at first and then you want to progress into smaller ones as you go further within your inner eye corner. Um, and around those shapes you're going to make dots and, you know, you have to uh, just eyeline the outline of the leopard print different ways to make it look actually like leopard print so you'll just see what I do and um, yeah go from there guys make sure you have a hand fan on hand because you don't want to make the print on your eye and then you know when you open your eyelid it smudges and it gets everywhere so make sure your eyelid is all the way dry with the liquid eyeliner on um, before you you know blink your eyeballs because you're gonna be very upset if all you know the eyeliner and the shapes that you made go to waste because they weren't dry yet so just make sure all the you know things are dry I'm, I'm tapping them to make sure that they're dry and just waiting until they are so I can you know actually open my eyeball <laughs> all the way alright guys so now that, that that is done we're going to use NYX glitter primer um, to set the leopard print shapes so basically we're gonna take a small small tiny pointed brush and dab on a little bit of NYX glitter on each leopard print shape that we made so we can prep them for golden fine glitter that we're going to put on top of those shapes. So basically the liquid golden eyeliner was a base for the glitter. The golden glitter we're going to put on top so we can really give it that pop of gold. Now using a finely pointed angled eyeliner brush, we're going to dip in some glitter, some golden glitter I got from the beauty supply store. They have so many colors, they have blue, purple, like the range of the rainbow in there. So basically we are going to tap into the glitter because our eyes are primed from uh, the NYX glitter primer. And we're just going to put the glitter on there one shape at a time to make our leopard print gold.
So now we're going back in with that black liquid liner to outline the leopard print shapes that we made. Now some leopard print shapes you want to um, outline fully, some of them you want to outline halfway, some of them you want to like outline half on the other side and half on the other. It's hard to explain but you'll see what I do. Basically look up leopard print um, uh, shapes or leopard print on Google or whatever and you'll see how they outline the images. Not the images but the shapes. I'm sorry that I am out of focus again. It's so hard for me to know when to refocus my camera, so just bear with me. So now that we're done outlining the gold shapes, we're going to go outside of the gold and just do dots around the shapes and um, still leopard print outlines around the gold to make it look more leopard print print. <laughs> So this is a close-up of what my eye looks like after I'm done applying the print um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. This is the finished product of both my eyes and the leopard print. Yeah, this one is kind of um, bigger than the other one as in terms of the shape of the shapes, but I feel like I did pretty good. You know, next time I'll try to fade the shapes in more as I go into the inner corner, but um, this is thumb and I'm happy with the product. So on to the foundation and face and everything. I use the same products for my makeup as always, so I'm just gonna, you know, put my face on, do the rest of my face, come back with the finished look, and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> hey guys, okay, this is the finished product. I just did my lips, I put mascara on, I put my lashes on, so everything is nice and right. I uh, tapped down my wig some more because it kind of got loose, so I had to put some more got to be glued on it. But this is it. This is my face. And I'm happy with the product. I'm happy with it. I look like a nice little lion. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you on the next one. <laughs> I'm about to have fun today. So, yeah. Bye, guys.